Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to For the Public Good. We're the show that tries to identify corporations, institutions, and individuals who are doing good and doing it well. And tonight we have uh, Yachio uh, Nakamura, who is the general manager of Unique Kase, and we're going to talk about making dreams come true. Sure. Hey, Yach, nice to thank, thank you for being here. Great. Hey, first of all, I always like to ask people uh, who are from other places. You're from Japan, right? Right. And, uh, and how long have you been in the Philippines? Basically, uh, approximately six years. Six years? Back okay. and forth. Okay, and, and you first lot. came as? Uh, 2006. 2006? Mm -hmm. Children without, without, borders. without borders. In Japan. And, and what does Children Without Borders do? Yes, in fact, the, uh, the uh, organization is taking care of street children and uh, mm -hmm. out of school youth. We call it OSY. I see. Mm -hmm. so, so out of school youth. Okay, That's right. good. We provide yeah. the uh, uh, educational support and the daily support as well. Okay, and... and your your name is is a unique name. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's a kind of mixed uh, <coughs> English and uh, Tagalog exactly. together. Mm -mm. And what is that all about? That's actually working with those same people, right? In fact, uh, because we wanted to provide the, uh, the job opportunity for those mm -hmm. people, especially young youth mm -hmm. who graduated from high school or haven't graduated school, um, they cannot find a job easily. Mm -hmm. That's why we hire those uh, you know uh, people from the community. And then we train them, and then we're going to do the, uh, the restaurant, like a food business. Right, and you're teaching them. Now, I, I have to say right. that I have had lunch at your, <laughs> at your you restaurant three times. I've been mm. treated like a king every time. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I have to say that you're doing a great job, mm -hmm. and you have Thank young people you. working there. But you're also, you're part of that chain of moving them from, in many cases, a lot mm -hmm. of people would think it's a hopeless That's life, right. lifestyle. Right. And with the chance of actually going on to college because uh, you have one yeah. of your, your at people this moment, that's in yes. at this moment at NBC. Right. And NBC is, is a great friend of this program, uh, yes. Steve Ding and the people over there. Right. They're, they're doing really a great nice job. Supportive. They're, they're doing a really great job. And right. so one of, your, one of your ladies is there as a scholarship that's student, right? right? Exactly. Yeah. So, okay, Unique I say. Uh, is it only here in the Philippines? Or? At this moment, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, we are cooperative, in fact. Uh, uh, no, I mean a corporation. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we established the uh, NPO Unicus in Japan last month. Oh, just last just month. Oh, that's, why, that's why you couldn't come on last <laughs> month. You were, <laughs> so you were in busy. Japan. I see. Okay, mm -hmm. great. And uh, how, how, what, what, where do you see it going? Right now you have one uh, facility right, in exactly. which uh, you serve great food. And <laughs> uh, by the way, it's all organic, right? It's well, all um, Partially, yes, yeah. but we, we try to increase the organic vegetables mm -hmm. in the future as well. Well, that's it's as really as hard in fact as, as a veggie. Suppliers. It's really di difficult to find right, all organic, Right, but we've been cultivating yeah. the uh, networking also. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. And first of all, the, the people, the young people that you get to train, Right. Where, how do you find that? You don't just go out on the street and say, hey, you want to <laughs> no, come no, over no. and, and work at Unique Kase. It's, it's not like that or anything. Yeah, like, we, what, what do you do? Uh, I have the uh, kind of 11 organizations. 11? Uh, wow. Yeah, partnership, including Balani Foundation and the Japanese organizations as mm -hmm. well, NGOs. Really? And you also work now uh, with another friend of this, of this program, uh, right. Messi Bessie, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah, yes, Bessie. she is uh, the great person. I yeah, mean, and, and uh, they, uh, Yakri. <coughs> and you're all working together mm -mm. trying to provide a hope for people that can't That's kind of right. came from hopeless situations exactly. or hopeless conditions, yes. right? They don't know how to keep the, the dream or how mm -hmm. to do the, the create the, uh, the hope. So they just face on the, the reality in front of them mm -hmm. only. So uh, we would like to give them a chance. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they me, have to. You told me you're going to cough. I'm going <coughs> to. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, yeah, bless you. I think, uh, excuse me <laughs> a second. Okay. Um, so, 
what you know you train mm -hmm. and I and I noticed that you know uh, the the ladies working at the unique Casse right. are very Younger very adults. diligent and, uh, <laughs> and careful about they the way that they are very innocent <coughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. and simply because they don't know how to work or how to you know behave or something is so this like the first job that they've ever had right uh, many depends times on the cases <coughs> in mm -hmm. fact the first time or uh, several cases that, that they they have been walking through but then uh, they cannot keep the job of, you know like a contract base mm -hmm. only three months or five months mm -hmm. and then they were laid off so it's really hard for them to keep the uh, once you know the job so you're once they come on with you it isn't mm -hmm. like it's only it's not like a three month or a six month I know, like it <coughs> as long as they want to stay mm, i see yes and you don't have you don't have a, like a graduation or something <laughs> like that no, so, this okay is not you're a gone story. it's time for that <laughs> what 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 are what are the age ranges of your between your 18 up to 24 18 to 24 for the first moment I see. but yeah. then if they in fact mm. there is the one boy whose age is 24 mm. and if he wants to continue he can continue of course i see i see mm -hmm. And how many do you have right now at uh, Unicos? Um, six on the list, but yeah. the stable four. <laughs> stable four, I see. Okay. Yes. But your your plans for the future are to have several establishments uh, throughout. If or? they grew up, uh, yeah. if, uh, if they can grow, grow I see. Grew, grow up. Um, uh -huh. yes. And you have 11, 11 places that are maybe giving you suggestions of people that exactly. that you can do. Exactly. Yes. Um, we started three years ago this mm -hmm. kind of movement, and then uh, we tried to provide the uh, job opportunity, as I mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, but then uh, we face on the uh, some difficulties through the past three years as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. And uh, uh, basically, although they want to work. But then uh, the situation is pretty, you know, uh, uh, difficult for them mm -hmm. to maintain one job mm -hmm. because some people have a family program continuously, right, even right. current uh, at this moment. Um, some people are facing on the financial problems so that they don't have enough money for the travel. Like, uh, uh -huh. you know, transportation is lacking. That's, that's one of the problems <coughs> that we had with the scholarship program at NBC, right. you know, again. Even if we can provide a hundred percent scholarship, mm -hmm. how do they get back and forth? And that's, that's why we need right. sponsors and nice exactly. folks like you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and who, are, who are helping out with also. that. Yeah, and yes. the patients, you know. Right. What, what working with children? You know, mm -hmm. I've I've talked with Dominic a lot. Right. You know, and and I came from a circumstance where I understand how mm -hmm. people don't really know about getting up at the same time every morning and getting to the same place <laughs> all the time. Right. What are some of your challenges in, in working with these kids? Yeah, um, in fact, basically, uh, my youth staff um, have lots of difficulties in the past, especially mm -hmm. family problems. Mm. And then some people were lacking uh, love mm -hmm. during their growing up. Mm -hmm. So um, they really seek the love. You know. That that's that that yes. is an interesting. They've I never had be loved. They've, they've never had the cuddling right. or the call or the mm -mm. the the touching. You know the, right, that's exactly. one of the things about Japanese. You know where you always <laughs> umbu. You know you you always uh, yeah that's a physical. Yeah, you, you always have the physical touch <coughs> and all of those yeah. things that other other societies well, don't cares. have. You know yeah like a caring. Yeah, caring or, or the other things, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the kids, so some of them off the street probably were just not. Right, yeah, they were facing on the dangerous situation as right, well. So right. uh, they are looking for the uh, some kind of cozy place, just like mm -hmm. at home. Then uh, once they met the uh, kind of uh, boyfriend or girlfriend, they tend to focus on that rather than job. Oh, hey. <laughs> so that might Gee, happen. <laughs> that might happen worldwide. Right, you know, right. I, I've had the same problem with, with well, younger children. generation. <laughs> younger. Maybe I used to be. I, I was a younger generation. It was back about 1492 or somewhere <laughs> around that time. Right. Yeah. No, Lots that's that's really true. And uh, trying to understand those mm -mm, challenges exactly. is not so easy. Yes, and, and how like about emotional the part as right. well as the, uh, the responsibility as a job. How about parents? Do you get parents involved with what you're doing? It uh, depends because uh, half of them, they don't have a family. Oh, I see. Mm -mm. So they have no family at all. Okay. Some people, some uh, youth yeah. staff, they don't have a family. Even they don't know their name or a birthday sometimes. Well, no you know, yeah, I, I just was... Uh, hearing about the situation now that they've decided that uh, domestic workers can have Social Security, mm -hmm. they're having a problem because That's many of them right. don't have birth certificates. Exactly. They, they have no idea when they were born or, right. or that is a where or whatever. Yes. You know? 
That's no why registration they cannot go to school, things, yeah. they cannot uh, have a job. That's why those people are kind of on the street. Uh -huh. you know, we have to think about that kind of situation mm -hmm. in terms of system. But you don't, uh, when, you, when you bring somebody on to work, you don't have to have all of that information for them to work, right? You can uh, basically, briefly, they explain mm -hmm. that their background, because mm -hmm. I need to know. Right, so well, that course, I, yeah. I'm ready to you know, accept those youth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm not getting into the too deep at I this see. moment. Yeah, we yeah. try to manage the uh, business atmosphere, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what, uh, what, what sort of, uh, you say you have family challenges a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. what, what sort of challenges are those? Nowadays, uh, some of the youth have uh, children already, babies. Oh, I see. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. That's why there is, uh, th no one, no one take care, takes care of the uh, babies, so he, he or she oh, can Oh, you don't come. have child care. That's <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. we have to think about that, uh, child care. Yeah, child care, because mm -hmm. that's not going to work in your restaurant, right, probably. Right, exactly. Hard, <laughs> <you know. laughs> that's right. Probably the, the customers might not <laughs> right. understand Exactly. Well. We understand with our own kids, but maybe mm -mm. not so much with other people's right. kids. So much. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully we can just cooperate with the, uh, the some organizations so okay. that uh, they can take care of our youth staff uh, children. The, so there's there's another work. area that maybe mm. we could we could tell our uh, our viewing audience right. of look at you know we've got people that are trying to bring the parents or the mothers up mm -hmm. into society, right. but we need some child care centers where they can, right. they can, feel, com they can feel confident, mother. yeah, single yes. mothers, where they we can feel it. confident that right. the child is going to be well cared for exactly. and that sort of they thing. They really right. want to work, but at the same time, they are responsible for taking mm -hmm. care of children. Unlike the, you know, they, they don't want to repeat what they experienced Exactly, before. exactly. It would be yes. terrible for them to just have another generation of exactly. the same things yes. that they went yes. through. Because the based on our vision, you know, like the, we um, try to reduce, minimize the number of children at risk based on our vision. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to create the children at risk. Well, right, exactly, anymore. exactly. Yeah, we would right. like to take care of children as much as possible. And most of these ladies, if they do have children, they're, they're uh, single mothers, right, uh, yes. for the most part? Mm -hmm. Some of them are lucky to get married, but mm -hmm. then uh, some of them... I don't know if that's lucky or not, mm -hmm. but I <laughs> no, I'm, no, right. I'm joking now. The, yeah, that, that's really one of the big problems, isn't it? You know, a single, mo single motherhood is right. difficult everywhere. Exactly. And uh, child care is only, is fairly new to Japan now, too, as well. Nowadays. I mean, uh, 40 years ago, there was, there right. was, you couldn't talk anybody into, exactly. into doing child care or right. any company to sponsor it or that's anything else. Right. And I understand, though, it's making progress now. Mm -hmm. But uh, here... Yeah, it's, it's, if you don't have a grandmother or an aunt or an uncle, you're kind <laughs> right. of in trouble, aren't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. and Some so people are lucky because they have a mother-in-law or mother. Right. Um, they can take care of uh, the you know, grandchildren. But then mm -hmm. that, uh, if, if, you know, they don't have those people to support them, mm. it's difficult for them to work. Yeah. No, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I, I didn't think about that. So that's, mm -hmm. that's family. That's, that's, that's the family, family part. Problem. What are some of your other challenges? Other challenges, um, they are not used to being scolded, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, like a Japanese, you mm. know, the more we, we are scolded, the more we learn. That right, kind of way right, of thinking. Right, right. Here in the Philippines, if, they, if I scold them, they quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so there's not a... They don't a, show up yeah, next day. <laughs> yeah, I, I see, yeah, so... <laughs> then yes. within three months, mom, I miss you, can I go back to you? <laughs> because <laughs> my text message, I don't know why. Many cases like that. Is that, is that the way it works? Mm. Yeah, so it's... Yeah, taking, taking criticism is, is a right. difficult thing, and some, yes. some societies have problems with that. Mm -hmm. They are yeah. very sensitive and uh, naive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're not used to being scolded sometimes. I see. So they, so they, 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 <laughs> they do. Uh, so they do a, a walk away then, huh? Sometimes, yeah. yes. That's the big uh, challenges for mm -hmm. us. But then uh, the people are really nice, mm -hmm. you know, very cheerful. And then sometimes after uh, finishing the event or something, you know, that we we did our best, and then we had the drinks and then dancing, singing together oh, okay. afterwards. That's a really nice part. Well, that's great. Are you, are your uh, are most of your mm. your people are, are ladies, or do you, you have boys as well, boys right? As yeah. Well. Mm -mm, yes. But what's the the breakdown? More more ladies more than lady, boys. More more yeah. girls, I think. Yeah. Mm -mm, somehow, I don't know why though. Mm. Yeah. It isn't like you choose just the girls. No. Uh, um, basically, the uh, organizations introduced to me. I see. And then I'm, uh, you know, going to interview them. 
And, and you're incorporated as a, as right. a corporation of the Unique Casse. And how many incorporators did you have uh, with this? Uh, five incorporators. Five, and are they um, all active or all uh, uh, supporting uh, and that sort of thing? Or? Uh -huh. Yes, they are really nice. Really? Mm -hmm. really? Very supportive. Good. Very understandable. And you're the only Japanese? Or? <laughs> Kind of. <laughs> kind of. What is kind of? I, uh, well, because I got the blood transfusion in the Philippines. <laughs> I was infected oh, so, by oh, okay, so right. my blood, you know, blood is the what, 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 what happened that you had a blood transfusion? Did um, because of dengue fever. Oh, you had dengue? 2006, oh. that 2006. time. 2006, yes. wow. You One know. month after I arrived here, I got a dengue fever. Gee, what fever. a present, you know. <laughs> yes. well, welcome. Yes, one. exactly. Philippine Yokoso. That's, <laughs> That's right. right. Wow, Scary wow. Thing in how how long, how long were you were you in the hospital then with that? Uh, basically 12 days. That and long, I, yeah? It, yeah, I think four months or five months to be recovered. Yeah, dengue mm. is no fun, it is it? Is, yeah. yeah, especially the, uh, the river function was uh, affected. Oh, is that, is that a tough one? Yes. I had fugu poisoning once, uh, and it, it took about <laughs> took about six months to you know recover from uh, that. So you know, were well you hospitalized? Uh, just just for 24 hours, where they 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 drained me uh, out on, on a lot of things and sweat everything out of me right. and, and everything. That's why we really concerned about the uh, the sanitation or hygiene or those kind yeah, of yeah. It's you just know, one of those, and it wasn't barriers. even it wasn't even zashi. It was uh, right. A fugu stew, you know, and so I don't know how it happened, but uh, mm -hmm. it's not fun. I, I've Ooh. never eaten fugu since then. Yeah, <laughs> that, traumatized, that's like, right? That's probably 30, 30 years ago, and I and I haven't Is eaten fugu right? since. Yeah. yeah, that's a scary. Yeah. Yes. Oh, fugu for you folks out there. Fugu is the blowfish, right? Right. That's, uh, highly. Uh, Poisoning. Poisonous is right. worse than ricin gas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's really it tough. Yeah. Pretty, mm -hmm. pretty tough. Yeah. Right. So. Um, yeah, the, so dengue is not fun, no. not at all. Yeah, this year I think two are uh, infected by dengue. Of your, of your own, of your group? Yeah, like I was going to ask you how that is. Yeah. What's that other disease that's like dengue that has the funny name that I can never remember now? Uh, well, never mind. Uh. I, you know, I had a guy on the show, a right. guy, Romel, I forgot. They have, a, they have a medicine now that they can give and they, they can cure dengue in like they say oh, 24 right? hours or 48 hours you oh, know that and they're working out of Olanga post so the next time it happens let me know and we'll uh, sure, I'll introduce yes, you to them appreciated. you know that's yes. uh, uh -huh. because uh, yeah the dengue can be very dangerous i mean it's right. uh, we're exactly. losing lots of kids right. every year especially here with dengue. younger children yeah. and yeah. Uh, elderly people also right. because of the uh, uh, strong with well, how do you see uh, right now? Uh, we're coming close to the end of the first half, and the mm -hmm. second half, I'd like to kind of talk about how, where you want to go. How are we going to move Unicase yes, ahead? Yes, that's a good question. And uh, it you know, what really are cool. what yeah. are what are your goals? You know, during right. that time, to find yes. out where you want to go because uh, there are uh, since I started this show. Now it's about three and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. I'm, been able to interview lots of nice people who are doing good things, you know, mm -hmm. and somehow we need, and, I, and it's wonderful to hear that you're networking with some of those same <laughs> people, right. and it would be wonderful if we could get everybody networking exactly, uh, together because mm -hmm. uh, so much can be done when you have already some kind of model exactly. to follow and to yes. take uh, the strong points from one to move it on to another. Right. So we're going to talk about that uh, in the second half. So don't anybody go anywhere because we're going to be right back.